Hello, I am Pete Dale and I'm going to talk about how DJing and music technology can help to bring on the boys in music lessons. Um, now the first thing to say about this topic is I'm not saying that only, bo only boys can be DJs. Certainly girls can be DJs. I've known many female DJs in my time and um, you know Girls also often are very interested in music technology. Uh, it does appeal very strongly to some girls. But we also know from a study by Born and Divine in 2015 that nearly 90% of students on music technology degree courses are male. And the figures seem to be similar for A-level. So dominantly, it seems to speak to boys. And that's, on the one hand, something which um, people who are working at a national level on policy might want to try to think of ways to make music technology more appealing to girls and we can do that in our own classrooms and we should do wherever possible but on the other hand music technology actually if it is very appealing to boys is there is a good side to that because if you do have um, boys that you have a difficult relationship with and let's face it most most teachers do have um, boys and girls where they have difficult relationships uh, for different reasons but I think all of us probably have that sometimes it's something which can really help with some of those um, so-called difficult boys to get them re-engaged things like DJ decks and DJ controllers and the kind of technology that's available now or Ableton push devices which certainly are um, technology that is popular with DJs and it's really good technology to use. Now I come from um, a background as a school music teacher myself as I said um, but also I've been working more recently uh, on research in, in a university context on music education. So I, I did teaching between 2003 and 2012 so nine years of teaching and I partly based that experience, partly used that experience uh, as the basis for this book, Engaging Students with Music Education, which I published in 2017. And the book is an argument for using DJing equipment, for using urban music in uh, school classrooms. And um, I think it was because I'd done that that uh, Musical Futures invited me to do an academic evaluation of their Tech Champion Teacher project which they've done in association with Ableton and Ableton very kindly given lot, uh, 10 different schools, I think, uh, some hardware push, uh, push devices which work with their Ableton Live software. And um, that equipment's been given to the schools who've been trying out music technology and the results been really, really high levels of student engagement, certainly including lots of boys. So I'll give you some quotes from the Tech Champions teachers that I spoke to when I was doing this evaluation of the Musical Futures project. One comment that was interesting was that a lot of the behaviour problems that a particular teacher had experienced was actually really bright boys. But even though they were bright, they thought they weren't good at music. And so they were causing trouble in the music lesson because they'd actually rather be told off than be told that they were doing something that isn't very good because they're used to being good at everything. So it's not just that this kind of technology is dumbed down and just, you know, good for the, um, the kids who can't do anything else musical. All of the teachers seem to agree that it was really good for pushing forwards um, learners across the, the um, ability range. And yet yeah, many, many teachers would mention boys specifically. Um, so this this teacher said there's lots of them opting to do music technology i get the sort of typical slightly immature naughty boys um one teacher even mentioned that there were two or three pupils who were in fact school refusers but the, the subject that those school refusers really responded to and which they would first be be a kind of carrot on stick for those learners to get them back into school was music technology um so another teacher said that um, he thought that hands-on 
uh, tactile aspect of the Ableton Push unit was one of the things that meant that the less academic pupils could really respond well. And that is worth remembering. The, music, the Ableton Push has bright colours. Um, it's um, yeah, tactile, as I said. You, you, you're pushing the pads on the um, on the push unit to trigger the, the sounds, and that means there's something which is very well hands-on about the um, about the music making. That seems to work really well with kids who have behavioural issues, as well as uh, helping the learning of really uh, high ability kids. But it certainly does help with um, some quite badly behaved just from the uh, schools that were in this project but also I found that in my own teaching experience and I've seen it in other schools that I've done research in um, and and it was senior management who were telling some of these teachers that they were noticing as well how effective this uh, was at getting you know these um, challenging pupils to be behave well and to do something positive, which is great to, to, to do. Now, you might be thinking, OK, I don't know anything about DJ Dex or Ableton Push. I don't know anything about all that. I can't possibly do it. The thing is, neither did I. I'm not from a DJing background. And most of the teachers in the Tech Champions project are classically trained. The Tech Champions teachers did tell me that, that they recognised, you know, that they, they felt very pressurised with time. All teachers do feel this, and we, you know, I, if you if you're thinking, yeah, I just haven't got the time to learn something new. I understand why you would feel like that. But the same teacher who gave the comment in red did add that the um, by learning to use music technology more, it made her working life more enjoyable. Uh, the more you do it, the easier it gets. And of course, it's important to remember you only really need to be a little bit ahead of the. Learning. You don't have to be massively expert. You can learn from the learner. In fact, teachers on Tech Champions were telling me that um, they were, well, you can see from the quote, sometimes the, the pupils were kind of advising the teacher. You can, you can let the, um, the learners be the teacher. And, you know, being open to saying, yeah, I don't know everything about this. We're going to learn it together. It's actually a really good way to work and it's very important in the musical future strategy. Now the DJ controllers are reasonably affordable actually. Ableton Push is quite expensive but it is it is really very good stuff and if you do want to try and learn some of it here are some resources that I would recommend. Point Blank is something which many of the or some of the teachers recommended to me. Learning Music ableton.com com very good the future dj's uh, book is fantastic if you want to develop um, teaching and learning around uh, djing and uh, i actually wrote the foreword for that and of course you can find lots of things on on youtube um there are organizations too i mentioned future dj's there's also dj school uk that's two organizations which i would vouch for as being high quality but there's a lot more out there besides and of course musical futures is fantastic so i hope you found the presentation helpful and i do hope you'll encourage you'll feel encouraged to use technology to bring on the boys in your classrooms